Although it may seem hard to believe, the so-called Hitler Youth did exist and were one of the most brutal and racist organizations of Nazism, with the bitter ingredient that its members were extremely young. They began as youth groups designed to educate German boys and girls in Nazi principles and ensure the longevity of the Reich for future generations. However, as the Second World War progressed, many of the clubs that made up the Hitler Youth had to take up arms and became Germany's backup armies. In this video, we will tell you about the birth of these organizations, how they were trained and indoctrinated, their role in the Third Reich, and their subsequent tasks in World War II, as well as how they went down in history for committing massacres against enemies without any mercy. Stay tuned to your screen and get ready for another installment of Military History. Let's begin! The Hitler Youth, known in German as Hitlerjugend, H.J., was officially founded in 1926, although its initial roots go back a few years earlier. Its origins stem from the Jungsturm Adolf Hitler or the Adolf Hitler Stormtroopers, an armed wing of the Stormtroopers founded in 1922. Originally, it was the youth movement of the German Workers' Party, founded in 1919, which Hitler renamed a year later as the National Socialist German Workers' Party, or simply the Nazi Party. The youngsterm Adolf Hitler suffered a severe blow and disintegrated in November 1923 with the failure of the Munich Beer Hall Putsch, a failed coup attempt carried out by party members that resulted in Hitler's imprisonment. Several youth groups were then founded to try to fill the void, which would later be exploited by the Fuhrer once he came to power. While originally a male-only movement, an independent girls' division was added in 1929 called the Schwesternschafter Hitlerjugend, which would eventually be renamed the League of German Girls or BDM in 1930. To encompass all of the youth, a section for young girls, the Jung Mattelgruppe, was founded in 1931. With this network of youth organizations, the Nazi regime indoctrinated, controlled, and prepared these young Germans not only to fulfill the tasks demanded by the German state but also to fanatically and extremely devotedly defend Hitler's future government. By 1931, one of the primary goals was to unify all the different youth organizations under one umbrella. The regime was expanding into all age groups of society, and after coming to power, the remaining right-wing youth groups eventually merged with the Hitler Youth. Starting from December 1, 1936, due to the Jugendienst flicked, a mandatory regime under which the Hitler Youth operated, all other youth groups were banned, and their membership automatically merged with the Hitler Youth. To complete the indoctrination, membership in this organization became mandatory for young people over 17 years old in 1939 and for all those over 10 years old in 1941. By then, membership in the Hitler Youth encompassed more than 90% of the country's youth. This controversial organization was divided into two categories, one for members aged 10 to 14 and another for members aged 14 to 18. The organizational structure was based on a military model, with squads, platoons, and companies. Hitler and his collaborators knew that by doing it this way, they would be training children to enter combat if necessary. Hitler firmly believed in the need to indoctrinate Nazi ideology early and harness the power of young people to ensure the continued vitality of the Thousand-Year Reich. The Hitler Youth focused on Hitler's anti-intellectualism, emphasizing military training as preparation to become full-fledged soldiers at the age of 18. On the other hand, young German girls were indoctrinated with values such as obedience, duty, sacrifice, discipline, and physical self-control. They wore a schoolgirl-style uniform with skirts and blouses along with military-style mountain boots. The goal of the girls in the BDM was to prepare them to be ideal German women. They were expected to be fully prepared for motherhood and to raise children who would be educated in the principles of National Socialism. Both boys and girls were strongly indoctrinated with the characteristic Nazi racial pride and were ordered to avoid any contact with Jews, whom they viewed as an inferior race. Activities for the boys included vigorous games and physical training, preparing them physically to become warriors. They also played complex and twisted war games in which the youngsters formed squads, wearing red or blue armbands, and were supposed to hunt down the enemy and take their armbands. 
This sometimes resulted in violent fights and mass brawls between squads. The younger and weaker children were generally beaten while the squad leaders stood by or even encouraged the fighting. Many children were severely injured, wounded, and traumatized during these field exercises designed to toughen them up for the life that supposedly awaited them. With the outbreak of World War II, all of Germany was on alert, and the Nazi leaders would use all available resources to defend it, including their trained and fanatical youth. The girls of the BDM played a significant role in the ideological and propaganda aspects during the war. The female division of the Hitler Youth was much more ideological than the male division, as their activities were more related to doctrinal values than physical training. Sometimes separated from their families, the girls sought refuge in ideas and became ideological guides and guardians of Nazism. On the other hand, the boys would have a more active and prominent role in some of the iconic battles of World War II, such as the Normandy landings. As the war progressed, the male division of the Hitler Youth took on the same tasks as men recruited into the armed forces. Among other tasks, they were responsible for anti-aircraft defenses and, above all, provided many soldiers, especially for the Waffen-SS, particularly for the 12th SS Panzer Division under the command of Colonel Kurt Meyer. Over the months, as Germany was gradually cornered, Members of the Hitler Youth were drafted into the military at increasingly younger ages, to the point that during the Battle of Berlin in 1945, a significant portion of the German defenses consisted of mere children. In 1943, the war was becoming a real complication for Germany, so they began to deploy their young swift as a greyhound, tough as leather, and hard as Krupp steel, as the Fuhrer had described his Hitler Youth. These men were the young members of the Hitler Youth born in 1926, barely 16 or 17 years old. Many of them lacked combat experience, but they were still mounted on the latest models of tanks, Panzer V Panther, Panzer VI Tiger, and motorized with the versatile half-tracks of the Panzer Grenadier or Panzer Grenadiers, mechanized infantry, the basis of modern infantry divisions. By September 1943, the division had 16,000 fanatical recruits ready for battle. The indoctrination received from the officers managed to mold hardened men who fought without giving or expecting any quarter, which generally resulted in reckless actions with disastrous consequences. One of the battles where the Hitler youth displayed their lack of preparation and cruelty was on June 6, the famous D-Day. The surprise attack that caught the Germans off guard generated fury and a thirst for revenge among the Nazi soldiers deployed to defend the territory. That same evening, the Hitlerjugend division mainly fought against the Canadians in the early hours of the Allied assault on Fortress Europe. Their first task was to stop the advance of Canadian infantry and tanks, which they failed to do due to the general disorganization of the Nazi defense. Although they knocked out 28 Canadian tanks during their initial effort, they ultimately lost 3,000 young lives before the Normandy assault was completed. The inexperience and dogmatism with which these youthful militias were trained led to truly horrifying war crimes. We're talking about the massacres at the Ardennes Abbey and ask. On June 7, 1944, Canadian soldiers were taken prisoner and brought to the Ardennes Abbey, which served as a Nazi base. After being interrogated and humiliated, they were shot without the slightest mercy. The first six were beaten to death, and the last twelve each received a gunshot to the head, resulting in a total of 18 fatalities. Previously, these Hitler youth, blinded by hatred, had committed an even worse atrocity. On April 1, 1944, in Ask, France, the train carrying Waffen-SS troops to Normandy was subjected to a failed explosive attack. The commander ordered troops to arrest and interrogate all male members of the houses in the village along the tracks. They took 86 Frenchmen prisoner and cold-bloodedly machine-gunned them in front of the entire village. Despite these bloodthirsty displays of determination, the defeat of the Nazis in World War II was inevitable. Like the Nazi party, the existence of the Hitler Youth and the League of German Girls was banned after the war. However, by that time, millions of young people and adults had spent their formative years as members of Hitler Youth organizations, 
being indoctrinated and prepared to be eternal adherents of Nazi ideology. Thus, these organizations had a tremendous influence on 20th century German society. We're reaching the end of this video, and we wanted to ask you, do you think that the German authorities following the Third Reich should have made a greater effort to de-radicalize former members of the Hitler Youth? Leave your opinions in the comments below. That's it for today's video, we thank you for watching until the end and look forward to seeing you in the next installments of Military History.